Today, I want to talk about vitamin D and a magnesium deficiency. There's a very interesting relationship between vitamin D and magnesium that I think you should know about, especially since most of the population is deficient in both vitamin D and magnesium. I think it's 75% of the population has low vitamin D levels and 45% has low magnesium levels. And here's what you need to know. All of the enzymes involving the conversion of vitamin D to the active form of vitamin D are magnesium dependent. That means if you're completely zero with magnesium, vitamin D will not work, period. And we know how important vitamin D is for bone, for bone pain, for insulin resistance, for your immune system, to prevent muscle cramps, cardiovascular problems with blood pressure, and fatigue. So magnesium allows vitamin D to work, and vitamin D also allows magnesium to be absorbed by a factor of 30%. So they're both synergistically helping each other. Now there's another mineral involved, and it's calcium. If you're low in magnesium, you're gonna have problems with that calcium because not only does vitamin D help the absorption of calcium by 20% in your gut, but magnesium also helps regulate calcium. Magnesium helps prevent calcium from building up inside your arteries. Magnesium is really good for blood pressure and just having elastic arteries to adapt to exercise and bounce back from stress, things like that. And it helps lower cortisol and it will help you sleep. So there's a certain ratio of calcium to magnesium that someone needs. And roughly you need like twice as much calcium as magnesium. But nowadays this ratio is really like three times as much calcium as magnesium. And the simple solution is to increase your magnesium. But the problem is, how do you do that? Because the average person only consumes like one and a half cups of salad per day. It's not even probably the dark leafy greens that's high in magnesium. And also, like I think it's 83% of all the calories in the grocery store are ultra processed. And that's another way that people are deficient in magnesium because our foods are just stripped of all the magnesium. And when we have this increase in calcium to a magnesium, then we start getting you know, calcification of the arteries. It even can increase the risk of different types of cancer, prostate, colorectal. It can increase polyps, which potentially could end up going into a cancer state. So I just wanted to put this on your radar to make sure you're having enough of magnesium to allow vitamin D to work. But also don't forget about vitamin D, you need that as well. Now, because of the censoring and the suppressing of the algorithms on YouTube, it's becoming more difficult to find my content. And there's a lot of content that I cannot put on YouTube, unfortunately. So to make sure you have full access of all my information, go to drberg.com and subscribe to my newsletter by clicking the link down below in the description. I will see you on the other side. And if you have not seen my very popular video I just released on magnesium that will give you a lot more information, I put that video up right here. Check it out.